Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video to show you how to set up an email service for a self-hosted app sniffing that you have running. So this is going to be a quick video to show you exactly how to do that. So right here, I am on my dashboard. And as you can see, this is a self-hosted app sniffing instance. So to set up the email service, what I need to do is go to the admin settings and then go to the email section. And this is where I can set all of that up. So to have this set up, you should already have an email server running. That can be your personal Gmail ID, which you can use as the email service, or you might use a different tool such as um, Twilio, SendGrid, or Postmark. For this video, we'll be using Postmark. I already have a server, an email server set up using Postmark. And this is exactly what we'll be making use of in today's video. So the first thing you need is the SMTP host. Um, for Postmark, it's going to be smtp.postmarkapp.com. We also need a port, which in our case is going to be port 587. So let's type that in. So we have port 587. And for the from email address, that's going to be the email address you have set up with your um, SMTP server or your email server. Same also goes for the reply to address. I'm just going to paste that in. And the next thing we need to do here is make sure we um, send across an SMTP username and password. So I'm just going to grab that for my server and paste that in right here. All right, so this looks good. Now I'm going to send a test email to see if this works. And let's wait for a couple of seconds to see if it was actually sent. All right, so we have the test email sent. I can go over to my email ID. So I'm just going to open up my Gmail account and we should have an email coming in here um, about the test we just created. I think this is not showing up under my inbox, so I'm just going to check what I have in spam. And right here, we can see that we have the email coming in, although it's coming in in spam for this test email. All right, so this looks good. I'm just going to um, say this is not spam and we can head back to um, actually set things up or finish the configuration. So now that I have this form field, I am going to save and restart my instance and then we'll have this configuration applied each time the instance is um, started. So let's give this a moment to do its thing. All right, this is done restarting. So what I'm going to do to test the email service we have set up because the email service is actually going to be used for a wide range of things such as notification, whenever there are comments on pages and also for um, the password reset workflow the email service is going to be used for all of these um, scenarios. So what I'm going to do is log out from my account. So I'm going to sign out. Then I'm going to create a test account and let's do a forgot password for that test account. So let's sign up. I'm going to create a test account. I'm going to give this a password. All right, we're done signing up. And what I'm going to do now is try to do a forgot password workflow. So let's say I forgot my password and I'm signed out. And we go to forgot password and we also fill that email in and we send the reset um, email it's going to use that email service we just set up and we should have that train in my inbox on gmail so i'm going to head back to gmail and you can see right here that we both have a welcome mail that's because we were able to set up the smtp service and of course this was sent to um, confidence plus one at absent.com because we just created that account as well as we also received a password reset email, which makes it possible to reset the password whenever we forget. Our so this is how easy it is to set up the SMTP email service on AppSmith. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to get subscribed for more helpful tips and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.